everybody. It's Tyler here at MSE checking team number 3175 Night Vision. Rainy World Champions coming in at an absolutely, obviously phenomenal year last year, but I have to admit, this year might be your best robot yet that I've seen so far. They got two wins at both their events and are doing absolutely phenomenal. Take a look at Night Vision, what they have to offer here. Uh, fantastic uh, slide out and also elevator as well too, talking about their great intake, some of the programming that's gone into this. Let's learn about Night Vision, especially coming from World Champions and how they're iterating this year as well too on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. If you're attending championships, come to the FUN and FRC Discord Meetup on Thursday, April 20th from 11 to 11.45 a.m. in Conference Room 360 CNF on the third floor. We'll have games, giveaways, time to socialize, and a chance to meet the FUN and FRC Discord staff. Get a reminder RSVP on the FUN or FRC Discords, and we'll see you at championships. Max, we're going to start off on the mechanical features of this robot. Uh, you know, Night Vision has built such a robust machine this year, so talk to me more about what's gone into it. I'd love to just hear uh, all those features of the uh, Conan Keep Scoring capabilities uh, and uh, how it's been working out for you so far this year. All right, so we'll start with our intake. It's based on the EveryBot intake. It's We basically took the EveryBot intake design architecture and put it onto a wrist. We obtain cones from single substation. Pretty simply, they slide down and come straight in. And then... Do you want to outtake? Um, and then for cubes, we intake from the floor exclusively. So they come in straight, come in just like that. And then we're all right. Uh, we're all set to score it wherever we want. Um, on the on the wrist, where the mid, wrist the wrist is mounted onto a slide that can go in and out. Um, it's a four to one reduction on a Falcon, and it's, I believe it's about a foot of travel. And then that is geared to, is put onto the carriage of an elevator. So we have about 39 inches of travel geared nine to one for in incredibly quick scoring. So if you want to demonstrate maybe some, can we demonstrate some cube and cone? Like. So this is intaking. And then let's go high. And then for cone, it's a similar uh, situation. Yeah. So that was our mid cone. Something I want to ask you uh, from your design wise. So we've seen you know teams do the slanted elevator design with like a wrist, but you've added the extra uh, linear slide essentially onto it. Why was that a great fit for night vision? So in the beginning of the season, we originally we just. We decided to just go with the elevator and slide. We did not know what our intake was yet. So throughout the season, we iterated our intake many times. This is version five of the intake. We have a version seven over here with better uh, game piece uh, acquisition, we would say. So we haven't put that on yet because it's still in early development, but this is just, it allowed us to put whatever intake we wanted onto the robot. So there's a, there's a lot of changes uh, in regards to this as well, too, uh, for it. So uh, you, is this something you'd be looking at adding on to Worlds? So we've been thinking about it. We actually tried it a bit before States, and we found that it wasn't quite tuned like as well as we wanted it to be yet. So we have to make some changes if we're going to put it on before Worlds. But it's actually almost exactly the same for uh, the architecture. It's The cone intake is nearly identical, except with a 4-inch wheel. The cube intake is almost the same too except with a four inch on the top and no bottom roller. So it works exactly the same, it's just that it can acquire game pieces quick, more quickly and more effectively. Izzy, what's gone into this real life from the programming side of things? Uh, you know, when I watched Night Vision on the field, I think one of the great things I've seen improvement from you uh, last year over this year is just how quick your cycle times have become and just how efficient your robot's been on the field. So talk to me about, uh, from that perspective, uh, how is programming integrating into what a great machine you have this year? So uh, we have motion magic on every subsystem, so that allows us to control uh, the acceleration and velocity of every mechanism so that it's all timed perfectly. So right when the elevator hits the top of its travel, the wrist is going all the way down, and uh, that makes it so the robot doesn't tip forward, 
and there isn't too much um, force on the elevator. And we also have a completely automated cube placing sequence for high and mid. So at, when the operator presses a single button, uh, the elevator goes up, slide goes out, and wrist goes down. It outtakes, and then everything comes down. This is actually in cone mode. So in cone mode, everything goes up, and then when the operator presses outtake, everything comes down automatically. So cube mode is fully automated. Cone mode needs two buttons. This is cube mode right here. So you can see all of that happened uh, with one button. And then uh, low placing is similar. Uh, all the operator has, has to put it into the low mode. And then when the driver presses outtake, everything comes in on its own. Um, we also have and then outtake. And then as soon as he released it, it comes in. Um, we also use Path Planner for autos, which is really great because we can draw autos on the fly. We use the marker feature uh, so that we can just put a few markers in there and our full automated sequences will go on. Uh, we have a three-piece on, on the cable side and non-cable side uh, that scores too high and a low. Um, and we also have a balance auto that we worked on. So. Well, Night Vision, you've been looking absolutely fantastic uh, throughout the entire season. Congratulations, especially, you know, coming off of World Championships. There's many ways teams can take it, and I think your team has embraced it so well and created such a great robot this year. So congratulations on a great season. We can't wait to see you at Worlds as well, too. Thanks a lot, and good Thank luck here you. at MSC. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first team experience and offers high quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.